On May 3rd, we were treated to a truly breathtaking display of what an MMORPG game built on Unreal Engine 5 for next-gen consoles could look like. The four-minute gameplay trailer for Chrono Odyssey, developed by South Korean studio NPixel, was a sight to behold, leaving us with no choice but to create a video highlighting the impressive visuals and features showcased. Alongside the trailer, we were also treated to a blog post from Chrono Studio producer Samuel Seo, providing us with further background details on the game. While an official launch date is yet to be announced, we do know that Chrono Odyssey will be available only for next-gen consoles, PS5, Xbox, and PC. And if you haven't seen the trailer yet, be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video for an uninterrupted viewing experience. To fully understand the upcoming game Chrono Odyssey, we had to first familiarize ourselves with its developer, NPixel. Although founded in 2013, the company experienced a rapid expansion during the global COVID lockdowns, largely due to the success of its mobile game title, Grand Saga. This anime-style collectible MMORPG has achieved top mobile downloads and explosive revenue growth in major East Asian regions. NPixel offers free downloads for its iOS and Android games, but also known for their in-app purchases that enhance the overall gaming experience through crypto coins or the Aptos Web3 platform, which runs on blockchain technology. It's worth noting that this pay-to-win strategy raises concerns for Chrono Odyssey, although no details have been released on this yet. Lead developer Samuel Seo provided some exciting insights into the game that was published simultaneously as the trailer footage released on May 3rd. We learned that the game takes place in the open-world wilderness of Satera, a vast and breathtaking environment that evolves with the changing of the seasons. The world feels alive and immersive, providing some of the best graphics we've ever seen. From the detailed landscape in the distance, to the beautiful abandoned structures like cathedrals and temples or dungeons, to the grass swaying in the wind, everything looks incredible. It can be difficult to distinguish between actual gameplay footage and cinematic footage, but even the combat footage that appears to be gameplay looks absolutely stunning. Samuel Seo says the combat will have an emphasis on unpredictability and control. Players must master the basics of attack, defense, dodge, and seamlessly switch between multiple weapons in real time to gain an edge in battle. The enemy AI is incredibly varied, with attack patterns that are both deadly and unpredictable. This unpredictability adds an extra layer of tension to every encounter, and players must always be on their toes to succeed. There will be six distinct classes to choose from, including Swordsman, Ranger, Sorcerer, Paladin, Berserker, and Assassin. The game will also offer an array of character customization options, such as gender and appearance, which we hope will not force players to pay for. It becomes evident that the grand-scale online battles are the highlight of this game that should offer an exhilarating experience. Teamwork will be essential, with players engaging in epic battles alongside hundreds of others. Strategy and skill will be critical, of course, and players will want to find trusted allies to support them in their quest for victory. We got a glimpse of some of these colossal enemies and powerful bosses, but I must imagine that this footage is only the tip of the iceberg. Finally, the game is centered around the enigmatic power of the Chronotector. This will be a main feature of the game as it holds the key to unlocking the player's full potential and seems to be the main theme or symbolic importance to the storyline. Players can manipulate time and space, stop time, rewind time, and explore other timelines, allowing them to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. Exactly how this manipulation of space-time will play out, we are unsure. There were some examples in the trailer showing this, like how you can freeze time in the middle of combat, so you can then proceed to kill your enemy to shreds. We also see how you can move back time a few seconds in case you accidentally fall off a ledge as an example in the trailer. In conclusion, there are just too many unknown and open-ended questions we have on the game to be able to give a full-on preview. But what we do know is that the future of gaming is here, with the level of realism and immersion offered by Unreal Engine 5. The capabilities of this game engine will allow for gamers to be transported in more new worlds that look and feel more realistic than ever before. We now leave you with the interrupted trailer that we can't shut up about. And please remember to subscribe so we can keep updating you on trending game news and gaming previews.